new year on planet Earth. A time of new beginnings, a time to start fresh, a time to try new things, time to finally pay back Uncle Morty that five bucks you borrowed. Happy New Year, everyone. We thought it'd be fun to show all the different ways people celebrate, though we'll be skipping Lower Zubelstan and those earwax sculptures. You're gonna love this. First, we're off to Bungonia to see their traditional New Year's ceremony, the launching of the bamboo. Welcome to Bungonia! All the townspeople... Uh, as I was saying before I was rudely preempted. And now for the ceremonial bamboo launch. This year, they've opted for a three-stage launch. Five, four, three, two, one... <laughs> that blast blew out my hearing for a week. I'm all right. And now the news! Did you viewers just hear something? It's always something with the weather lady. Is it my imagination, or have you noticed she's been cranky ever since that new news guy showed up? If she read her mail, she'd know people think she's annoying and wears too much makeup. Newscasters seem to have a pretty cool job. You think I'd be good at that? You look good in makeup. What a ho-hum day. It seems like nothing ever happens here. Look! A blimp is caught in our kite strings! You'll never catch me! That's what you think! Stop in the name of the law! No one ever visits us. <laughs> good one! I gotta go! <laughs> Nobody has any real cool toys. Watch me mega spin this top! <laughs> <laughs> hey, you kids. Huh? Yeah? Here you go. Lunchtime. Mmm. Meatball soup with dragon broth. Wow, what does dragon meatball soup taste like? Ah! My lunch is eating me! <laughs> that was one really bad nightmare, huh, Sonny? Let's all enjoy our first meal together in the new year. <laughs> Time for our New Year tradition. You all know what to do. Let, Let us, us now, now slurp soup. Ugh, have you no manners? Was, Was that, that rude? rude? Why do I bother? I thought everyone slurped their soup loudly. You have to slurp soup or else it isn't really the start of the New Year, right, Spencer? Whatever you say, Dad. I'm too tired to talk. Are you tired too, Sonny? I had this horrible soup nightmare and didn't get any sleep. Why do you have your backpack on? You know you don't have school today, right? Miss Phelps says our class has some kind of New Year's ceremonial pop quiz. <laughs> I think your teacher should get a light. Okay, bye-bye. Lloyd, the traditional slurping is only for the soup. Uh, no wonder none of my friends wants to come over anymore. Hey there, Sonny. Uh, you're gonna finish that soup? Welcome, children. I'm sure you're grateful I decided to hold class on a holiday, but don't thank me. Oh, yes, and Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Now, I know you're all anxious to get right to it, but first there are a few issues that I need to discuss with you. And when I say discuss, I don't really mean that you get to say anything. I'm just going to tell you what I think. Oh, it's so hard being a teacher and being responsible for all your young minds. Thank heavens you're the kind of students who always turn in your assignments even on holidays and never come up with lame excuses like the pig ate it. Like I fall for that. Now, is there anyone who failed to bring in their homework today? Uh, yeah. I almost had it done. My dog ate it. Oh, oh great spirit of teaching. If only one child did his homework, then maybe I could go on. Uh, oh. Whoa, what was all that stuff about? I'm just so happy you did your homework assignment, Spencer. And it wasn't easy either. I had to work in the dark like some pint-sized coal miner and steal batteries out of the TV remote to have enough light to finish. Miss Spelt, I'm proud to say that Spencer was not the only student weird enough to spend his holiday doing his transportation report. And as part of my report, I built this ancient Spartan wheel. Cool. But can you explain to us why you've tied yourself to it? You see, when it comes to being weird, I've really got it rolling. <laughs> Wait, Steph, there's nothing weird about taking your schoolwork seriously because it is important! <laughs> 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 oh, wow. It's obvious learning carries a lot of weight with Miss Spelt, but the question is, can we lift Wiggy's homework off of them? 
The wackier they are, the harder they fall, as a famous poet once said, though I can't remember if it was Mo or Shemp. Hey, Eggman, seeing them flatten like this makes me hungry for pancakes. How about you? <laughs> so the rabbit tells the crab, you should try to be more happy. <laughs> I still don't get why you think those rabbit jokes are so funny. <laughs> Who is that? And what is he doing up there? It looks like a pouty little black pig. I bet he thinks he can fly. I think he's gonna jump. What, is he crazy? He doesn't even have any goggles on. They're no help. They'd fog up before impact. Ooh. I guess those little pointy piggies are holding up his tower for him. I could take over for a while. I'm always happy to help out little piggies in need. <laughs> you all needed a rest? It does seem like it'd be a little safer if some of you stayed on the other three poles, but... Do you think he really believed he could fly? He probably thinks he's flying right now. The first airplane was built by the Wright brothers, but the first carry-on baggage was invented by... Why'd you think you could fly off that tower? That's the saddest story I ever heard. No way, it's a gripping tale of piggy heroism. Made me feel warm and hungry inside. Huh? Is food all you ever think about? What a story, a pig fighting against the system. He rose from the barnyard as a common piglet and joined the Air Force Pig Pilot Training Program. And he had the dream of soaring through the sky like a great curly-tailed bird, only to be told that pigs cannot fly. He didn't say that. He said he yearned to fly so he could avenge his grandfather, who fought in the Great War at Hampstead Alabooth in France. Victory was close at hand with Baron Spatula's army retreating and his grandpapa's tank was rolling through vicious Swap. But with no planes to track him, Spatula slipped away. No, no, he wanted to fly to give hope to all the little piglets around the world. Imagine a little porker breaking the bonds of Earth to fly. All the piglets would be happy and cheer for him and have new hope for themselves. But their dreams will be dashed if he can't fly. So, kids, which of those three versions of the little pouting pig story do you think is correct, A, B, or C? You guessed it, all three are wrong. Boy, he sure is one pouty little pig. Maybe we should offer him some ice cream or something. Sonny, go ask him if there's anything we can do for him. That seemed to go well. What did he say to you, Sonny? He says Pouty Pig wants us all to go for a walk. Why not? We've got nothing better to do. He wants to go down by the river. Now he wants to go into this building. Down this way, onto the boat. Now he doesn't like the boat, but he wants you guys to stay on board. What are we supposed to do? Just wait here. What doesn't he like about the boat anyway? Something about a slow leak. Oh. Good thing our backpacks are also life jackets, eh? So what's really going on? What I need now is a perky know-it-all, but I wonder who. Did someone call for me? You need someone to translate and you're in luck. I speak fluent Pigalese. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, it seems this all started on New Year's Day at the Dragon Lady's place over some very spicy soup. I decided to capture Sunny Pig for my own evil purposes. Then I'll cook him up a special soup. And when this soup is served at noodle shops all around town, everyone who tastes it will fall hopelessly under my power. Then when the aliens arrive, they'll deal with me. Before long, I have ruled the planet. And then the entire universe. Bring me that pig. Oh, dear. Could this be the end of the line for our sunny pig? Served up in a bowl of soup, and if that happens, what will I do for a job? But why bother with some other pig when I've got one right here? You'd be good, Shoe. They say it's better to have a piggy in a pot than noose on the roof. That's an old expression I just made up. Now you know why he wanted to learn to fly. If he doesn't, he could become the Dragon Lady Lunch Special. And you shall still be Lunch Pouty Pig. I have a reservation with your name on it. You can't get away. <laughs> Hi, 
I'm the weather lady. Don't listen to her. She never does the weather. And you're not taking this nice pig to dunk him in your soup, either. Not if I've got to say about it. Who is this brat bunny? I'm Spencer, lady. <laughs> I'm, I'm a real dragon. Or a ferocious bear, bear if it serves my purpose. Now to unleash myself on this helpless world. Hey, I thought you were about to unleash yourself. My lipstick wore off. Give me a sec. Go ahead. Get out there. You look fine. Why, thanks. Do I look evil enough? I am dragon lady. Can we skip the corny introductions? We know who you are and why you came here. Well, if you're so smart, little sassy pants, prove it. Hand over Pouty Pig and no one will get hurt. No one except poor Pouty Pig. Well, just because he may not be the most talkative pig in history or have the biggest vocabulary or happen to be the best looking one does not mean that... I am gonna protect him just the same. Sonny? Uh, Sonny? Move! Listen up. If I say he's soup, then he's soup. No one messes with my evil schemes, got it? And no one's gonna make one of my friends into a menu item. You're not soaking them in soup kids don't like. Do you hear me? Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Why, how good to see you again, Miss Spelt. I didn't notice you walk up. We don't see enough of each other. I have just been so busy with my nefarious plots to rule the world. Even an evil lady like yourself needs time off. <laughs> Excuse me, would you two mind sticking to the plot with the pouty pig and the sinister soup and all that? Oh, if we must. There's no way I'm gonna let you hurt this pig. <laughs> As you wish, for if you meddle in these affairs, you too shall become mere seasoning for my dreaded soup of doom. Oh, yeah? That's what you think, you... <laughs> Hey, are you listening to me, lady? Well, I suppose collecting fingernails is an unusual hobby. So you agree I'm weird, then? Yes, terribly weird. <laughs> Dragon lady, will you quit talking to everybody so we can get back to the matter at hand? As I was saying, I have a score to settle with you. The Happy New Year to all of you. Please have your autograph books and pencils out and ready. You have gone too far this time! <laughs> oh, but you haven't seen anything yet. I found that when the villain uses that cliché, it usually means something bad is about to happen. <laughs> Silly roundhead Spencer. All this time you thought you were protecting Pouty Pig when in fact he was working for me. Finish the job, Pouty. <laughs> <laughs> After he's done with you, you're going to wish you stayed in bed. <laughs> How could I have fallen for the oldest trick in the whole book? Uh, it's not fair. I was only trying to do the right thing. untying us. Burr. Back into the whirlwind of my own despair! Now my tummy feels all queasy. Dry toast always helps with that. I don't need your toast and I don't need your sympathy. You messed with us and now you're gonna be toast. Let's link it up, Sonny. <laughs> I was thinking about myself, and more myself is all I got. They say I'm power mad. I've never had any power, and that does make me mad. Alps, people have a unique way of bringing in the new year, and apparently it involves getting dressed up as white fluffy sheep. There must be a sheepdog around here, but where? <laughs> Next in our New Year's World Tour is India, home of the Taj Mahal. And here's two guys showing off some striking new spring fashions. I hear you do yoga on New Year's Day. You bet. I must try it sometime. Ooh. Oh. Ah! So this is what they mean by getting a leg up on the competition. That'll teach you. <laughs> All right, Dragon Lady, so you captured us. But that doesn't mean you have to throw us around like a couple of footballs. Actually, your round head is more like a bowling ball. You're in big trouble. Bagging us like groceries is against the law. Is that right? As soon as I get out of here, I'm gonna call the police. I'll just tell them it was a sleeping bag and we were having the most wonderful slumber party. Guess you got all the angles covered, don't you? And you, after all, am I trying to help you? Do you have anything to say, Pouty Pig? 
So it's into the big soup pot for Sonny and me, huh? Well, you got that right. Of course, I'm sure you know boys taste terrible in soup. Huh? Boy soup has closed more restaurants than bad oysters. Why didn't you tell me this, Pouty? This whole soup thing was your idea. Now's our chance, Sonny. We need something to get us out of here. By the way, I wonder if Grandma got the postcard I sent her. Sorry about that, Sonny Pig, but at least now we've got plenty of postcards to send. Why aren't you true soup yet? You had a change of heart about making soup? Get them, Pouty Pig! Get them! Watch it, buddy. No one knocks over the dragon lady. Pig! Pig! Huh? I don't speak piggy! Where is that translator weather lady? Actually, I'm here in Iceland, where for some reason I can't quite follow why the local folks like to celebrate the new year by swimming around in freezing cold water. Let's watch from the warmth of dry land. So, do you like pink? Uh... Hey! Wait! No, no! That was so weird. Those two villains were way madder at each other than they were at us. Oh, well, let's head for home, Sonny. Kids, it's time for that fun game we played together, Parallel Universe. No, thanks. I don't really want to play it right now, Mom. But it's New Year's tradition. Legend says if you don't play, someone will control you. Yeah, but no one can really control us. That Parallel Universe is such a bogus game. Give me a break. How could someone playing a kooky game somewhere else be controlling your every move? Huh? What do you think? Should I try to stop them from fighting? Well, it's better than waiting to see if a board game can control us. Yeah! I'm off to stop the battle between the knuckleheads. This is a bad habit you're getting into. Yes, a Spencer-style action scene. We've been tied up for most of the show, so it's about time we showed everybody at home what real heroes are made of. Where is this place, anyway? Back in my room, I could have sworn it was right next door. All right, you two, that's enough of your ridiculous fighting. What in the wiggly world? It's a magic portal. They both went through to the other side, I bet. Come on, Sonny, let's follow them. There they are. Huh? I told you once, if I've told you a thousand times, Lord Sets are not allowed in this apartment building. Now, if the manager sees you, I'm going to lose my security deposit. Uh. You knocked that off. You know what we have to do. Give me that magic snout. I'm going to teach you a lesson. Huh? Moving like pieces in that board game. It's really happened. We've been sucked into a game of parallel universe. Parallel universe. I always win at this game. <laughs> oh, I landed on car wreck. Lose two turns. Good thing it's just a game. How catches fire? Go back ten spaces. <laughs> My railroad train got hit by a mysterious pig-shaped meteor. Get married to someone you really like. Go forward ten steps to celebrate. Yippee! That means I'm gonna get to marry Melissa. <laughs> Become the heavyweight boxing champion of the world. This game is just a crack-up. Fun in phony heavyweight boxing match. Vacation in Jamaica! Ooh, at a soup spa! Go home, take off shoes, and get sued by neighbors because of smell. Lose next 14 turns. Oh, slip on a jelly donut, fall, bang head, and go back five spaces. Does it seem like this game has more accidents this year? I wonder who the game's controlling this year? Anyway, all I have to do is roll a three and I'm the winner! Actually, Tiffany, it says you have to turn a black pig into a 50-foot monster and win a colossal battle in a parallel universe to win. What is wrong with this game? <laughs> We're stuck here until they finish that game. How do you think I feel? That's right, it was your evil plot that went haywire, wasn't it? So much for my plan. <laughs> Why have you been so angry the whole episode? Beep, beep, beep. What else can you tell us? Beep, beep. Got it. 
He says being wild and angry is how he celebrates the new year. Oh, for me, I prefer a nice long nap. 